All right, to other stories. A unique truce has broken out in gang-infested townships around Cape Town. Rival gang leaders have suspended their endless wars and are using their drug delivery networks to bring food to poor households. The BBC's Andrew Harding reports for Just Nigeria. These are some of the most dangerous streets in South Africa and the world. Poor communities fought over relentlessly by rival drug gangs. But today, a virus and a nationwide lockdown may have achieved what the police, even the army, have failed to do here. This is the American gang's turf. Most of these men have been in jail. Some are killers. But today, instead of selling drugs and robbing people, they're bagging up food supplies for hungry families. I got a phone call from two different gang leaders, both saying, Andy, I've never asked you for anything, but we're starving. And I just thought, hey, if these guys are starving, they're at the top of the food chain. Uh, the rest of the community is going to be in serious, serious strife. To help, the gangs are drawing on their own particular skill set. The best distributors in the country, they know how to distribute things, hey? They're used to distributing other, other white powders, <laughs> um, but still, they're distributing things and then they know everybody. So what does the community make of the criminal's sudden change of focus? There is relief here for sure that a gang ceasefire has taken hold during the lockdown. We rely on one another to help each other, yeah? Even if it's gangsters, even if it's people who don't, if it's not, if it's not gangsters. There's no such thing as gangsterism. In these times, all of us stand together. But it is hard to tell what people here really think about the men who've terrorized their neighborhoods for decades. The authorities are skeptical. I don't think it exonerates you when you've done so much evil. Uh, one good doesn't suddenly, good, good deed doesn't suddenly wipe it all away. Um, maybe they can um, commit to slightly more long-term good. Put down the firearms permanently and stop intimidating and robbing residents. Then, then we're good. Because of the lockdown, I'm not able to film with cameraman Barnaby Mitchell and producer Karen Scooby. I'm in Johannesburg, not Cape Town. But two gang leaders agree to talk over the phone. Do you think South Africa, do you think your community will be changed by this experience? Yes, maybe as well. It must be peace. And that's what's happening now, yes? Yes. And do you think that will last? Maybe, maybe not, yes. So once the virus is over, maybe the fighting will start again? Maybe the fighting will start again, but I trust in God. God will make a way. So a temporary ceasefire a temporary lockdown and just the sliver of a chance that the virus will bring lasting change to some of the most dangerous streets in the world. Incredible.